this is a video that is going to show our new sterile line change kit and incorporating our large volume IV tubing. This is the new NICU um, line change kit. You want to grab one of those to do this. Um, your IV tubing will come from pharmacy as it always has um, with your TPN and your lipids already spiked. You want to make sure that you move the roller clamp um, down as far as you can to the, towards the end of the tubing to uh, make this procedure a little bit easier. And then you'll place both of those after you've primed them on the edge of your um, work surface and then loop the extra tubing up over your IV pole. Next we're going to open the line kit. We're going to take and place the sterile drape that's on top of the kit underneath the baby's current IV site and extension tubing. Then we're going to take off exam gloves and gel our hands. Next we're going to put on all of the sterile apparel that's in the kit. We're going to put our hat, our mask, um, our sterile gown, and our sterile gloves on. Next we're going to open the extension tubing package that is in the kit. Take out the extension tubing and take all the caps off the ends of all of the legs of the tubing. Next we're going to open the sterile normal saline flushes and we're going to prime through on the port that has the clave, the med extension tubing to the end. Um, next we're going to open our chlorhexidine swabs and place those on the edge of our tray. Now using the 4x4 we're going to grasp our IV tubing using one of the chlorhexidine swabs we're going to take the cap off of the tubing and put it on the edge of our tray and hook the tubing up to the appropriate extension set. We're going to repeat that same process with the other IV tubing. The large volume tubing you want to make sure that you take off the cap and the valve that's at the end of the tubing and then connect that to the extension that has the uh, filter on it for the TPN. 
Now we're going to flush our fluids through to the end of the extension tubing by grasping the roller clamp with the 4x4 and opening it slightly just until we can see fluid go to the end of the set. And then close the clamp again and then repeat that same process with the lipids. push the lipids through till the end. Now our tubing is primed to the end. Um, this next part requires that you have an assistant that can help you open the door to the isolate since you're still sterile. So the assistant will open the door to your isolate. Then you'll use your other 4x4 four to grasp the baby's extension set on their IV tubing. Use the other chlorhexidine swab to scrub your hub for 15 seconds. and then let that dry for 30 seconds. Once that's dry, you'll grab your IV tubing and connect it to your line.